Hello, it is Dr. Render. Today I will show you how to make lava lamp in Blender. Let's start with modeling mesh. Add subdivision surface modifier to default cube and shade smooth. Then press S, Z and finally 2 to double that axis scale. Switch to edit mode and create a loop cut in the middle by pressing Ctrl R. Extrude top face along Z axis. Now when full height is defined, press Ctrl A in object mode and click all transforms to apply those transforms. Go to edit mode and form the lamp. Add one or two loop cuts at places where edge should be sharp. Add two more loop cuts where glass surface will be. Now when lamp is done, let's create some sort of sun. Add new plane mesh. Scale it. Switch to edit mode and extrude farthest edge from camera along Z axis. When the corner edge is selected, press Ctrl B to create bevel. Scroll mouse wheel to increase the number of bevels edges to make it smoother. Let's set light. Set default light to spot. The higher radius will make cast shadow softer. Now, when we end it with basic sand settings, we will create and set some simple materials for lamps, body and sand. So the sun and mesh ready. Let's add some magic. By magic I mean the lava effect for which you all came. We will add one more slot for material in lamp mesh. Select all the faces that stay in between our special loop cuts that we made previously and assign recently created material to them. Now we can create lava material. At first, delete default principled BSDF shader and add glass BSDF instead. This shader will create glass surface of lamp. We need one more light source directly for our lamp. Place it on the bottom of glass part. Set it. Let's unplug glass BSDF for faster viewport render. Lava bubbles will be created with principled volume.
add texture coordinate, mapping nodes, noise texture and RGB to black-white nodes. As you may guess, this is the key part that will create our randomized bubbles. Plug those nodes to density property of volume node. Don't forget color ramp or even two. After setting the noise texture and color ramps nodes, we can see some kind of white bubbles. In real life lava lamps, hot bubbles float from the bottom upward, and the bubbles that already are cooled float downward. To create this, we will double mapping noise texture, RGB to black white, and color ramp nodes. Mix those nodes and run duplicates in the opposite direction. After that, we are missing color and great bubbles in the bottom and top. Let's paint our bubbles with color ramp. It looks amazing. We are on the finish line. Add two mapping and two gradient textures in spherical mode. Mix everything and position those spheres. I will end this tutorial with fast render.
yeah it was worth it thanks for watching check my previous tutorials and subscribe please so you will not miss new bye